everyone, Tracy here with Paper Closet Designs and today's video is short and sweet and simple and it is for all of my Silhouette users. So I have three new chip bags. These are for school, back to school, <clears throat> excuse me, last day of school, 100 days of school, teacher appreciation, PTA day, any of those things. But the difference with these is, if you can see, they have little blank areas where you can put a message or um, who you're going to send it to or anything like that. So on the composition book, we've got the front where you could put have a great day or two Mrs. Adams again up here on the banner. You could leave that blank or you can put a little message on there. And on the back of the crayon box, there is also a little blank that you could fill in. So you could take a Sharpie pencil or a ballpoint pen Sharpie pen or ballpoint pen, excuse me, and write your name or your little message on there. Or you can set it up to be printed as part of your bag. And that's what I want to show you today. So let's jump over to Silhouette. And the one that we're going to use today is the composition book chip bag. So it is already opened up and ready to print. It's got the registration marks and everything on it. <clears throat> but I want to add a little note to my my uh, label here in the front. So all I'm going to do is first I'm going to rotate this just because it will be a little bit easier. So I'm going to open up my transform panel, go to rotate and rotate it 90 degrees. Then I'm going to bring up my text tool and I'm going to type a little message. Let's do have a great first day click off of it and then click on it one time and now we will come over here to our text style panel and open it up and we can choose a, um, a font that we want to use and I'm just going to do this PN lollipop shop bold it's one I got off of the silhouette store but it's um, it's just right at the top so that's the one I'm going to use I clicked on it it changed my font I'm going to center it center justify and I'm also going to do my line spacing and bring it down make it a little bit closer together okay so now I can select that and I can fill it with the color let's do red and I'm going to turn off my cut lines because I do not want this to cut I only want it to print so I need to come up here and I'll click on the drop down and we're going to click on the hash mark. That means don't cut or it takes away the cut light. And now all I have to do is just resize it to fit in there. And now that I've got it on there, I'm thinking I don't necessarily love the red, so I'm going to refill it with a different color. Let's go with um gosh I don't know let me pick up my tool my pen and maybe I'll do this darker red that works a little bit better I'm gonna yep I like that much better so now all I have to do is select everything so I rubber band selected I clicked above it and dragged across so that I'm selecting the chip bag and that sentiment I'm going to group it and then I'm going to come back over here to rotate and take it back to zero degrees or let's do 270 there we go I'm going to center it in the page and now it is ready to print and cut so I would come up here to my print window send to printer hit print then when my printer dialog box comes up I'm going to hit print again and then once it's printed I can lay it on my mat and go to send and send it I'm not hooked up to my machine so it's not available right now um, but one more step you would need to come over to line and make sure that the hash marks are unchecked so that it does not cut your lettering out in the middle of your label and that is all there is to it. It's actually really simple to do. 
Thank you for joining me today. I hope you have had. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please hit subscribe so that you don't miss any of my videos, and have a great day.